People often ask me, how do you get things done? You know, I know all the strategies, the same as everybody else's strategy, but how do you make it a reality for a customer in a store? How do you make things uh, change? And, 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 and the point is, um, the, you, the, the, there's a prescription you can follow. It's boring, but it's necessary if you're going to execute your strategy. And uh, you have to act. You have to uh, make a decision. That decision needs to be based on data. Uh, you have to be disciplined in supporting that decision. Uh, and then you have to write down a process, which is just a series of steps or actions that have to happen for that decision to become a reality. You have to be mindful that people are involved, so you have to define the roles that people must perform for that to happen. And if you want to, to replicate it and make it reliable, you have to write an IT system for it. So simple steps. Data, decision, discipline, people, process, system. It's as boring as hell. But actually, that's the meat and drink of successful organizational performance. And whenever you see things go wrong, like the NHS's uh, computerized patient records or, or whatever, and remember, that went long to the scale of 16 billion pounds, um, uh, you, the answer is that they didn't follow that process. Um, People also would ask me, um, how do you connect ordinary people to those big aspirational goals? And uh, we found that the balance scorecard, Kaplan and Norton's balance scorecard, uh, was incredibly useful. We called it the steering wheel. We developed it for Tesco. And basically, it allowed every individual to have a measure for them when they came to work that was relevant to the higher order measures of the business. And you could adjust it. You could have measures for a store, an office, uh, a, a, um, a function, or the whole company. And they were all connected. So people knew exactly where they were. The skill is you have to be quite thoughtful about the measures. They need to be quite simple measures and ones that do actually distinguish between success and failure, things that really uh, move the business along. And then I talk a little bit about some other things that work in business, about simple. You know, life's more and more complicated. Tesco went from a food supermarket in the UK to be a retailer of goods online, offline, in many formats, from hypermarkets to little express stores in many countries uh, around the world. So it got very much more complicated. And the only way to navigate through that complexity is by consciously developing a culture of simplicity. And we actually brought journalists into our business to teach us how to communicate in a clear and simple way. Um, because, you know, that's a skill they have. They, they've got to take a complex subject in the morning and they've got to turn it and explain it for their readers it, that day uh, and make it interesting and engaging. And, um, well, internal office memos are not like that, are they? I found actually marketing people are the worst writers of all. <laughs> so anyway, we had to do a lot of training about, about uh, getting a simple mindset. I'll just end with the, 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 the last two, because I know uh, we want to get on to conversation. Um, I, I found competition is incredibly healthy for businesses, uh, because competitors force you to do your best work. I mean, nobody likes competitors. They're trying to do you out of a job. They keep you awake at night and so on. But actually, they keep you honest. Uh, because if you don't improve day in, day out for your customer, they'll be there to take your customer away. And, and if you can, always look for the strength in competitors. It's, it's human nature to look for the weakness when you go into the meeting and say, oh, they haven't got that right, or they made a right mess of that. But actually, look for their strengths and see if you can bring their strengths into your business. Don't, you know, don't slavishly copy them. Be yourself, but see what you can learn uh, from them. Uh, and the great thing about competition, of course, is it empowers the consumer, it empowers the citizen, because it gives that person, that family, power over these big organizations in a way that no other system that I can see does.